action. Okay, so today this is what I want to go through. Pay attention. We finished our leg locks series, and I'm going to start from scratch our butterfly guard attacks. Okay, from the ground, from the bottom, not the X guards. Basic butterfly guard attacks. I know some of you guys don't know these well. Some of you guys know them, but we're going to start with the basic general principles of the butterfly guard. Down over here. So a couple principles are: if he's down, okay, I always want to have my feet in here, and my hands are out here. Okay, I don't want him controlling my head. I'm always going to keep control of his wrist. So I'm in here. I'm always working to to hold this. He grabs my feet. I, I don't want him to control my feet. I don't want to control my head. I don't want, I don't want him to control my, my wrists at all. I always want to be in control of these things. If he stands up, and sometimes you guys deal with people standing up. What's the first thing I want to control if he's standing up? His leg. Well, I'm not going to. His legs are back. I'm always I'm looking. My hands are up to grab his wrist because he might put his hand on my head. If he does that, I'm still controlling. I'm still controlling his wrist. If he steps in, I want to quickly just, if, unless I'm going to go to X guard, I'm just going to push away. Start again. He comes in. I'm just going to push away and re and re-step. And re-step. Simple principles. I'm in here. If he, if, he, if he circles, you know, you're just, you're constantly, you're following him with your feet. Keep circling. You're just following with your feet. Always looking to control, control, control his hands if you can. On the ground, you get a lot of you guys that will do this. He comes in, he rushes into me. Tackle me. How many guys have seen this before? Guys, just come in, tackle me. How many guys have been tackled like this before? Hey. In, butter, in butterfly guard. From here, start to do that again. Just put, I guess, I just want you to put your feet right here. You can control his hips. A couple things I can do from here. I probably could, I could guillotine choke him. Just push his leg out from there. So from here, if he pushes in, just put your feet out here. Put it right here. You can grab it right here. If you want to, and you're just going to sweep him from that position. The basic principle, though, I want you guys to work on. If the guy's been grabbing for a while, he's not going to come in like that because he knows if he comes in, I'm just going to put my feet here. Guillotine choking from here, or I could sweep. But the normal guy, he's looking to attack you. So the basic thing I want you to do, if he's just sitting in front of you, I just want you to go this, do this. He's close enough to touch. I'm just going to attack the elbow, collar, and just sweep him from there. I'll catch guys with this a lot of times because they're not expecting. It's so simple, we're close enough to touch, he's giving me the range. He's not pushing me away, push me away, John, where I can't get in. If he's up here, you're just simply, it's right here. So what I'm doing, I'm pushing, slapping, and you're just lifting up with that leg, or a hook, and you come in, a little side control. Over here. Once again, we're here. I'm always controlling his hands. If I'm in close enough, ouch. Just lift. Just lift. One more time. Controlling the hands. John's close enough to touch. So, and look. And you're just lifting, lifting. Simple right there. This side. Here. Simple. Simple attack right there. Thank you, dude.